All right, we're going to do some more um, finding, reading and then finding text evidence. So we're going to work on the Goliath beetle page today. And we are working on the hummingbird moth page also, which is on the back. All right, so if you feel confident that you can read this, you can find the information on your own, you know what to do, then you don't have to stick around. You don't have to watch this video. All right. And if you would like some support as you're reading, if you want to read along with me, then you are in luck because we're going to read it through three times. But first, we're going to see what we're looking for. What text evidence are we looking for? So we're going to use an orange crayon to highlight two adjectives that describe the Goliath beetle. Adjectives are describing words, right? Two adjectives that describe the Goliath beetle. Um, use a purple crayon to highlight what the Goliath beetle beetle eats. So we're looking for what the Goliath beetle eats and use a green crayon to highlight where Goliath beetles live. All right, and then we are going to use the text to compare and contrast a Goliath beetle and a Japanese beetle. We know all about Venn diagrams. We are Venn diagram experts, right? Things that are that only apply to Goliath beetles will write down in here. Things that only apply to Japanese beetles will write down in here and things that they both have in common will put in the middle. All right, let's read through the Goliath beetle. The Goliath beetle is a very interesting insect. Like a zebra, it has black and white stripes on it. Goliath beetles can be big. Unlike other beetles, Goliath beetles can be as big as birds what? As big as birds? Like other beetles, such as Japanese beetles, Goliath beetles have two pairs of wings used for flying. While beetles, such as Japanese beetles, eat flowers and plants, the Goliath beetle is too big to only feed on flowers. Scientists believe they probably also eat rotting fruit, smaller insects, and the remains of dead animals. They gather in trees to hide and find food. The Goliath beetle prefers warm climates. They live in the rainforests and the grasslands of Africa. Color in your first ladybug, all right? And if me reading it through once, and you following along makes it so that you can read the rest of them on your own. You can read it on your own the next two times. You can just stop the video now if you'd like. Or you can read through again with me. Okay. The Goliath beetle is a very interesting insect. Like a zebra, it has black and white stripes on it. Goliath beetles can be big. Bing, 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 bing. That's an adjective with an orange crayon, we're supposed to highlight two adjectives that describe the Goliath beetle. Goliath beetles can be big, bing, bing, bing. Unlike other beetles, Goliath beetles can be as big as birds. Like other beetles, such as Japanese beetles, Goliath beetles have two pairs of wings used for flying. While beetles, such as Japanese beetles, eat flowers and plants, purple crayon to highlight what the Goliath beetle eats, bing, 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 bing. So this is Japanese beetles eat flowers and plants, but bing, 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 the Goliath beetle is too big to only feed on flowers. Scientists believe they probably also bing, 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 eat rotting fruit, smaller insects, and the remains of dead animals. So this is the part where it's talking about what the Goliath beetle eats, right? Rotting fruit, smaller insects, and the remains of dead animals. They gather in the trees to hide and find food. The Goliath beetle prefers warm climates. Bing, bing, bing. We're supposed to use a green crayon to highlight where Goliath beetles live. They prefer warm climates. They live in the rainforests and the grasslands of Africa. Bing, 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 bing. Rainforests and the grasslands of Africa. You can color in your second beetle. And I think it says with an orange crayon, we're supposed to think of two, find two adjectives to describe the Goliath beetle. And I think I didn't go bing, bing, bing on the very first one that they used. So let's read through the third time and see. The Goliath beetle is a very interesting insect. Bing, bing, bing. Interesting is a describing word, right? It's an adjective. So we could use our orange crayon to highlight the word interesting. 
like a zebra, it has black and white stripes on it. Goliath beetles can be big. Unlike other beetles, Goliath beetles can be as big as birds. Like other beetles, such as Japanese beetles, Goliath beetles have two pairs of wings used for flying. While beetles, such as Japanese beetles, eat flowers and plants, the Goliath beetle is too big to only feed on flowers. Scientists believe they probably also eat rotting fruit, smaller insects, and the remains of dead animals. They gather in trees, in the trees, to hide and find food. The Goliath beetle prefers warm climates. They live in the rainforest and the grasslands of Africa. You can color that one in. So make sure you did, you found the text evidence for all three of these things. You can color these in when you have found them. And then you're gonna use the text to compare and con contrast a Goliath beetle and a Japanese beetle. So they talked about a lot about what, how big they were, the size of the different beetles, and they talked about what they eat quite a bit. So you can put things in each of these areas. You don't need to do full sentences, okay?